you like to see a little physicality like that finally, a little feistiness? Yeah, it, it's good. It's good, especially when you have so many new players. You're trying to figure out what everybody's all about and to be able to see guys wanting to run to the fight and not run away from it is awesome to see. TJ, I noticed um, Irving talking with Harrison a little bit over there on the sidelines today. For a guy who didn't have the tallest stature as an outside linebacker, I know Nick likes to pick your brain on stuff. What can he learn from James in that regard? Yeah, you, you, you brought up the height, not me, but uh, I think it, I think it honestly is a great asset for any of us. Uh, it's a move that's very difficult to learn, but once you, I mean, he's made so many sacks off of that one move that he has, and then a couple counters as well. So if Nick can be a young guy and try to learn from the James Harris and the guy that's in the Hall of Famer, why wouldn't he try to soak up as much information as possible from him? And uh, it's so cool that Debo's willing to spend his time teaching his moves to us as well. You don't mind uh, your couple of your defensive guys instigating those altercations? No, I mean, as long as it's there's good meaning behind it. I mean, sometimes you have to stoke the fire to see what we're about as a team. And I think that's all today was about. Um, obviously, we don't want, to, want it to continue and to mess up practice and slow things down. But um, I think it was good for today. What are your first impressions of uh, Paul Tano and Pastor Pepe? I think he's done a great job. Uh, he's done a good job of changing up his sets, doing different things. Um, it's always fun when you get a new tackle to go against because it's not necessarily the same techniques that you're used to seeing day in and day out. Um, so it's been great competition. Hey, TJ, uh, behind you. How does it, what's it like having another established leader like Russell Wilson in the building for you guys this season? Well, it's great. It's great to have presence uh, from both quarterbacks. Honestly, him and Justin have done a great job of uh, acclimating to us, but also bringing some of their leadership styles to this team. And uh, it's only going to continue to grow as they get more and more comfortable. But in terms of Russell, a guy's going to be in the Hall of Fame. He's won a Super Bowl. I mean, that kind of has got to help that leadership, huh? Yeah, it's been, it's been great. TJ, did you go investigate that break just without your helmet? No, I, when I don't have a helmet on, I try to stay as clear as possible from it all. And uh, well, I thought I saw you. I, I, I took, I'll take two steps to, to show the intent, but I'm not going to get involved without a helmet. TJ, That's a good thing for the team. Distributing over. the pass rush this year, how much can Patrick Queen's uh, addition and Peyton Wilson, some of those other guys, help in that regard? Yeah, I, I can speak to Pete Queen. I've seen him do a lot on film watching AFC North. Uh, he does a great job of picking and inside stunts. They did a good job in Baltimore with him. And uh, I'm sure we'll have a lot of good, fun games drawn up. And uh, we'll all have an opportunity to eat. Gee, uh, offense pretty impressive last couple days on seven shots. What have you seen out of them that has impressed you? Uh, decisive, getting the ball out quickly. And they're able to control line of scrimmage in the run game, which is something that we need to take more pride in as a defense. And hopefully we get corrected soon. TJ, on paper, this looks like it could be the best defense since you've been here. What has to happen for that to happen? Control the line of scrimmage, stop the run. I mean, all the normal things when we need to be able to not have those big explosive plays. Last year we had too many explosive plays, explosive runs. We need to eliminate those and, and, uh, and hopefully uh, create more splash. What's the vibe of the unit like? Loose. We're loose, um, but we need, to, we need to perform better. Like you said, seven shots hasn't been great the last two days, and uh, we need to take more pride in that and come out uh, firing tomorrow. Has there been more of an emphasis or about the same on stopping the run? Oh, it's always the same. I mean, each and every year, it, there is no secret sauce. It's just stop the run, get them behind the chains, and the other 10 years back. Who's really stood out to you in terms of these newcomers, these young guys, I guess, on the defensive side of the ball? On um, defense side of the ball, not so much young, but newer PQ, uh, E-Rob, myself, um, just all communicating together and getting to know each other better. Keanu, what is Patrick, have you noticed, brought to the middle of the defense, you know, just from playing in front of him? What are some of the things that have stood out to you about his game and, and his presence uh, as a linebacker? Well, I think he got that energy. He's, he got, he's got strength. He's fast. Uh, I feel like he's the package, man. What about him and, or him and Landon together as well? I mean, that's something that we'll probably see a lot this year. You get a sense that those two are starting to slowly become on the same page? Yeah, I think those two guys is going to be able to get some of those double teams off of me. <laughs> How would you describe this defensive unit just as a whole? Physical, um, you know, and we're 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 Blitzberg, so we're gonna come after the ball. We're gonna try to get after it. Nick, Mike talked a lot today about the young young guys getting opportunities. What can you say about just the defensive line and where a lot of a lot of the young guys are, are producing yeah. here in year two? Yeah. Um, you know, obviously we have vets in the room, uh, and anytime the young guys, especially myself, we get an opportunity like that to go out there and you know showcase what we've been working on all off season, all um, all our life basically leading up into this point. Um, you know, I think you just got to make the most of your opportunities. What do you make of this group compared to, to last year and maybe? Uh, like I said, man, I don't, I don't really try and compare 
contrast or whatever. We, we're trying to win the Super Bowl. We need a Lombardi here. So whoever's going to help us do that, let's go. Marcus Golden isn't here this year. I know there's a spot to be won there. Um, one of the guys that came over late last year is Moon. How's he working out in his first camp? I love Moon. He's a good kid, great uh, great football player, great guy off the field too. Um, he works hard, big, strong. So uh, they got a good. we got a good competition going on. So um, we'll see how that turns out. What was your take on what started the dust up at the end of practice? Uh, that's just... It happens, you know. It's, we wouldn't be family if we didn't fight. <laughs> For you, I guess, kind of to come back, talk to me about like what's that like, what's that like after last year and just trying to make your way back. I mean, I'm loving it, man. I'm just I'm just stacking these days together, you know, continuing to uh, you know just build on day by day and just uh, fitting in wherever I can. What are the things about this defense you feel you can take from maybe great to elite or just that next level? What are the, what are the things you feel like are most important you guys are working on right now here in camp? Uh, really, we just communicating. Uh, we just all, all, all bonding together because we got new pieces and just really just being around each other. You know, you know every time we out there on the field, we just out there just you know being together and just communicating and making plays. When it comes to like the one-on-ones or just those battles, who you, who are you most looking forward to going against? Who have you enjoyed, I guess, competing against when it comes to that? Man, really anybody, man, because, you know, man, I'm just grateful to be out here, man. You know, I'm blessed to be out here. So any time I'm stepping up, I'm trying to, you know, make the best of it.